All right, we are walking through City Walk on our way to the entrance of Universal Studios, and we have Halloween Horror Nights merchandise in City Walk. And then this is Little Boo, who is uh, merchandise that's normally in Universal Studios Orlando. And this year we get him here, which is awesome. So we. The first, the crossbody, the handbag, and for everyone that's concerned, $60. $60 for this crossbody. What's the inside um, print on it? Let's take a look and see if there's anything inside. Ooh, Ooh that is nice. Not very spacious, yeah. but it's got a pocket, mm -hmm. a zipper pocket, and a cute little pattern. That's cute. And it says Universal Studios. Nice. Awesome. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, we have a pumpkin, the cat, and the skull. That's cute. Totally rock these 24-7. What's yeah, the price on those? Earrings are $20. Okay. And what about the pins? Buttons. Oh, the buttons. $11. $11. That's not bad. And then they the got pins. pins. $19. But I'm sure pass holder discount applies. Yeah, they do apply from what I heard. And that's a blanket. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my god, I need it. What's the price on the ornament? I couldn't tell you. You can't tell, right? Actually, $20. $20. And then if you turn it around, it says Halloween Horror Nights, I think. 2022 20. and the pumpkin is the zero which is awesome i love that so we have little boo candy or snacks we have the bucket hats with the reversible prints we have this cool cat what is a cat what what kind of candy is that sucker they got ghost or, or like a kitty mask and i guess it's like a, like a kitty mask and then we have pumpkins we have the witch here, which is awesome. We have chocolate bars. We got knee high we got socks. socks. We got what bandanas. else? Bandanas. Hair bands, bandanas, and we have a sweater here. And Sweaters the sweater is kind of thin, so that looks nice. Here at City Walk, if you don't have access to go inside for Halloween Horror Nights, they do have some of the merchandise available here. I think for the most part they have everything here in regards to Michael Myers and the other store that, that I just showcased has the little boo which is the Orlando merch but in here you can find the rest of the stuff here. I have a picture frame. Look at the detail. Everything from 1978 Halloween. This goes for $29 and then we also have a candle and we're assuming it smells like pumpkin apple i don't know pumpkin apple. this is twenty dollars as well check out this shirt that has all of the mazes for this year for 2022 we have it in a shirt we have it in a hoodie we have shot glasses with all the um for most of the mazes here we even have a kids halloween book I've seen this online, that's pretty awesome. We have a hat, Halloween Horrors on the back, and it's a Mike Myers hat. And I love that they put the pumpkin on the side, that's awesome. And then check out this mug. Michael Myers t-shirts. We have the backpack. Smith's Grove Sanitarium. Tin sign. It looks like we have work, or not work, but like some kind of badge, glasses, hats, lanyards, posters. We have the mug on this side. Halloween Horror Nights. What else is on there? Oh, check out the zipper, little knife, and then the tombstone with Judith Myers and the pumpkin. Is there in? Is there a print inside? No, it's just black. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. The the knife. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. And then it has a bottom, a bottom pocket. And then that one has the yeah, it has the print inside too. And I think that one goes for seventy, if, if I'm not mistaken. 
No price. I think it was sixty nine ninety nine. Let's cross off it to 75. 75, okay. So we have a ornament with Judith Myers. This is from Trick or Treat Studios. Um, and then we also have this badge, which is awesome. We have the poster here. We have the lanyard. Look at how amazing this is. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then what is that? Socks. Okay, we have socks, I guess. That's cool. And the price on that is 26. And we also have this matte finish uh, mug with Michael all around it. So good. We also have a wallet. Got some color clown stuff here. There's a Michael Myers mask. I don't know if these are for sale or if they're for decoration. I'm not sure. But they have that one and then they have this one, which is cool. And it's from Trick or Treat Studios as well. But look at that. Check out this nose. <laughs> so big. They also have a killer clown at the bottom. Very nice. And they're all from Trick or Treat Studios. We made it through security and we are finally inside of Universal Studios. We are so ready to kick off the first night of Halloween Horror Nights. Let's do it guys. We are here for the opening night of Halloween Horror Nights and I have my crew here. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Woo! All right guys, let's go. Let's get spooky guys. Yeah. All right, so it is 6.30 and they have three mazes that opened and we are walking to the horrors of Just open the ropes to walk towards the Halloween 1978 maze and the Scarecrow Reaping maze. We are one of the first. I'm so excited to get through the two mazes for Halloween 1978 and the Scarecrow Reaping. We had to walk through Hogwarts because the mazes are through the back side, so that's where we're currently walking to. The line for Halloween 1978 just opened. It's just these people here and we are following them. So we should The one maze that I look forward to is Halloween 1978 for obvious reasons. My favorite slasher, my favorite movie of all time. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings just because they always bring Michael Myers back but this is a 1978 version of the movie so I'm excited to see what they have in this maze. Something that I would recommend is if you guys are coming do early entry because it does pay off. You can do two maybe three maybe even more 
walk-ups. So definitely recommend coming early. Maze number three, and it is only 7 12, and we are doing the Scarecrow Reaping, which is a brand new house to Hollywood. And I saw John Murdy at Midsummer Scream explain the concept of this house, and I am so excited. It looks so good. Let's go.
freaks from all four corners of the globe. Ah! It's time to face your fears and come face to face with the bearded lady. The chicken geek. The fish girl and the rat girl. And let's not forget the creepy sisters.
of you know, Universal is one of the oldest movie studios here in Hollywood. And that means, uh, you know, you can't exist here. Norman Bates house in the back lot and he's available for meeting greets so you can take your photo with him Celebrity, we have Vince Vaughn that was walking right behind us after the third tram, and my group of four actually, two of them asked for a picture. I didn't ask for a picture, but he was really nice. And we got the loaded nachos. And we also got this spiral potato with Parmesan truffle or truffle. The curse. The curse. 